hello everyone you are welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you very much for always coming out here may god bless you all former presidential spirit and the member of the all progressive congress damu garba too are staking to his facebook page to react to the claim made by atiku abubakar that 90 percent of northerners are not on social media he made this known during an exclusive interview on arise tv when he mocked the Labour Party for having a stronghold online and not offline. According to him, he stated that the Labour Party, they have 100 million supporters on social media, but 90% 90, 90 of Northerners are not on social media. While reacting to this, Adamu Garabatu forted his claim, according to him, he revealed that Kano alone has 3.8 million social media users and the whole not makes up or make makes up 45.1 percent of internet users in Nigeria. Speaking further, he stated that most of the Northerners users are not noticed because they hardly comment on social media posts, adding that what they do is read content online and debate on them offline. This, however, led to several missed reactions from Nigerians on social media who took to the comment section to express their opinion okay, on it. I agree with you, Atiku Job. Surely, Atiku Abubakar right, is right because even for my village, we have a population of 200,000 people. Just 15 people are on this social media yes you are right sir i am so disappointed in him for saying such it is clear that atiku is not good with live interview he is indirectly saying his religion is still backward atiku is right because you may have a small phone and sim card but you are not using social media you are you are to some extent right sir these are reactions by Nigerians and they keep on talking. Wait till. What are they talking about? Social media users is the other. You should know this. This is not what we are talking about. And all these people who are saying Atiku uh, Peter Obi is on social media, they will see what will happen on that day. Atiku is in Dubai, is a Dubai president. Is not familiar with what happens in Nigeria. I think Garaba is right. Many of them are on social media, but they don't comment. They tend to comment more if it is Hausa language is used, especially on religious affairs. Abio, then what is it different from what Atiku Abubakar is saying? They only read but not commenting. They can never be noticed. They can't read self. In articles, a articles content, it means that the Northerners are still in the Stone Age, which may be right. Hmm. It's, it's not a gift. Eloquence is not a gift that God has given everyone. We have seen several leaders struggle with TV interview. It is not easy. Usibanjo. Peter Obi, Ahmed, Laura are among some of the most intelligent speakers. We have Baba Atiku. Don't try, Jerry. Let him be. This Garba don't know what he's saying. We are not talking about receiving and call. We talk about internet. The North does not have up to 10 million social media users. Atiku lived in, in Dubai. He is far from the relatives of today's Nigeria. He has no idea about what it takes to be a leader who leads from the front. To be frank, he will be the worst. He will be worse than Buhari by all accounts. You are correct. Atiku will not only Atiku will only reside in Dubai, but govern from there. APC and PDP are not depending on legitimate genuine election to win. They are both depending on using various unpopular, um, diabolical, and criminal means to rig 
out and wreak each other in this coming election and other future elections as long as Nigerians remain hungry, misinformed, uninformed, and poor. They will be easily manipulated through monetary overtones by these irresponsible politicians that have adjacked our nation. We, the Nigerians, progressive across our various regions, ethnic groups and religions should unite together to articulately remove from power these who belongs in power. Power belongs to God and the people. Where two or three are gathered together, God is there. The Labour Party is depending on their genuine, you know, eagerness, grand will and good purposeful intra-national grand plan to stabilize, unify, develop, and enrich Nigeria and Nigerian citizens, citizenry by sheer appropriation, people-oriented, prudent leadership, accountable from system and structured leadership that puts the Nigerian people first before themselves. Sir Peter Obi and same-minded Deputy President, we achieve a lot in these directions. Therefore, the Nigerian progressive across ethnic, religious, and cultural background, we unify to teach those unpatriotic, irresponsible, old cargoes politicians a bitter and everlasting lesson in these coming elections. Okay, guys, these are reactions by Nigerians. And they keep on talking. Are all the numbers you quoted not on us? No problem. Why are you worried about labor social media influence? Face your own battle. Let labor face their own game. Exactly. Why are they worried about labor party? You said labor party cannot win. Good and fine. Forget about it. Then, face your battle. Let labor party also face his own it's very simple so guys i'm dropping in today kindly share your thoughts below the comment section thank you very much bye for now <music>